Kenya and Tanzania are East African neighbors with a long history of cultural, economic, and political ties. Despite occasional tensions, the two countries have maintained a cordial relationship, marked by cooperation in areas such as trade, security, and regional integration. This video, we will provide an overview of Kenya and Tanzania's relationship, as well as a geopolitical analysis of their interactions. Kenya and Tanzania's relationship has a long history of cultural exchange and shared heritage. The two countries share a border and have ethnic groups, languages, and cultural practices in common. This has contributed to the two countries' sense of shared identity and solidarity. Kenya's position as East Africa's economic powerhouse is under threat as Tanzania catches up with a faster growth rate that is closing the gap between the two economies. Tanzania has boosted its economic firepower by growing by an impressive 7.5% over the last five years, compared to Kenya's growth rate of around 5%. According to the most recent International Monetary Fund data, Tanzania's economy has expanded seven times in the last 20 years, while Kenya's output has grown five times since 1997, with a trend expected to continue in the coming years, undermining Nairobi's future dominance. So how is Tanzania doing in this regard? It has sustained rapid growth that has allowed the country to close the economic gap with Kenya. It is due to this growth that neighboring Ethiopia surpassed Kenya's economy for the first time in 2015, a situation that experts predict will repeat itself if nothing changes. Kenya's economy was more than double that of Tanzania 20 years ago, but the gap has now shrunk to less than half. According to the IMF, Kenya's annual economic output, also known as GDP, was $13.7 billion in 1997, while Tanzania's GDP was $6.4 billion. This meant that Kenya had an economy that was 114% larger than Tanzania's, or more than double back then. But last year, Kenya's economy was only 46% larger than Tanzania's indicating that Tanzania has been gradually closing the gap. Kenya and Tanzania have a substantial economic relationship, with trade and investment serving as the primary drivers. Tanzania is Kenya's second largest trading partner in the East African region, after Uganda, according to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, or the UNCTAD. Kenya's exports to Tanzania were valued at approximately $500 million in 2022, while Tanzania's exports to Kenya were valued at approximately $200 million. Cement, sugar, tobacco, wheat, and manufactured goods are the most commonly traded commodities between the two countries. Cross-border investment has increased in recent years, particularly in the banking, insurance, and tourism sectors. The establishment of the East African Community, or EC, in 2000 also helped. So if Tanzania was once the top dog in East Africa, how did they swap places with Kenya? Kenya has been the top dog in East Africa since 1987, attracting dozens of large nationals and global deals before 1987. Tanzania and Kenya swapped the pole position, with Tanzania having been the largest economy from 1982 to 1984. According to IMF data, Nairobi raced past Tanzania a year later, but went on to reclaim the slot in 1986, only for Kenya to permanently displace it from 1987 to date. Experts believe that Tanzania's newly found bullish stance on business and development, as it moves deeper into a market economy away from socialism that is entrenched in the country's historic culture, has helped spark the growth. On the trading front, Tanzania has recently cut Kenyan orders. The two countries have recently been locked in a trade dispute in which the duo exchanged import bans on several commodities, including cooking oil, wheat, and milk products. 
One reason given is that most of the products that Kenya used to sell to Tanzania, such as confectionaries, processed milk, soap, salt, and so on, can now be manufactured in Tanzania at a lower cost. Kenya is lagging behind competitors, with its cost of production remaining a challenge. Uganda has been the driving force behind Kenya's exports in recent years. While Tanzania was once the second largest buyer of goods from Nairobi before narrowing its orders. Uganda has been the largest buyer of Kenyan supplies for the past 10 years, making it a key economic partner for Nairobi. However, the cloud is now lifting, with Tanzanian exports to Uganda increasing while Kenya-Uganda trade has decreased. However, M forecast data shows that by 2022, Kenya's economy will stand at 113 billion U.S. dollars, compared to 78 billion U.S. dollars for Tanzania, indicating that catching up with Kenya will take longer, if at all. Professor of Economics at the University of Nairobi, Mr. Raki believes that Dal Salam is very unlikely to leave Nairobi in the foreseeable future, based on the two countries' private sectors, compared to Tanzania, according to Dr. Reiki. Kenya's private sector is far more vibrant and has remained the country's main engine of growth, citing hundreds of Kenyan businesses with operations in Tanzania. Tanzania has also been expanding its seaport, allowing it to import goods that were previously sourced from Kenya. Tanzania is also planning to build a multi-billion dollar standard gauge railway line and a crude oil pipeline in collaboration with oil-rich Uganda. Tanzania, led by President John McFurry, snatched the pipeline deal from Kenya, following earlier agreements between Nairobi and Kampala. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's capital city, launched the region's first bus rapid transit, or BERT, system last year, easing public transportation. The World Bank Cities report, released in February this year, ranked Dariu Salam's real estate ahead of Nairobi. The report valued Dariu Salam's real estate at 12 billion US dollars, compared to Nairobi's 9 billion US dollars. Kenya-Tanzania political relations have been characterized by occasional tensions, particularly regarding cross-border trade and immigration. Kenya banned the importation of cooking gas from Tanzania in 2017, citing safety concerns, resulting in a diplomatic spat between the two countries. Tanzania retaliated by prohibiting the importation of Kenyan milk and imposing stringent requirements on the entry of Kenyan goods into its territory. Immigration has also been a source of contention, with Tanzania accusing Kenya of deporting its citizens without following proper procedures. The proposed construction of a natural gas pipeline from Tanzania to Kenya has also caused friction between the two countries. Kenya and Tanzania have an important geopolitical relationship because both countries play an important role in shaping East Africa's political and economic landscape. Tanzania is the most populous country in the East African community, as well as a member of the Southern African Development Community and the African Union. Kenya, on the other hand, is a regional economic powerhouse and a global trade and investment hub. Kenya and Tanzania's geopolitical significance is enhanced by their strategic location. Kenya is located at the crossroads of East and Central Africa and serves as a regional gateway. Tanzania, on the other hand, shares borders with eight countries and has access to both the Indian Ocean and Lake Victoria, making it an important transit point for goods entering and leaving the region. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Also remember to leave a like on this video as it helps our content reach a wider audience. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.